Hi, I'm Harry Schrader, one of the pastors here at Southgate. Thanks for coming to our website today. As we roll through the spring and head into the month of May, it reminds me that it's kind of an anniversary month. A lot of people get married in May, and so there's wedding anniversaries and those kinds of things. But here at Southgate, May is a very important month. Back in 2003, there was the birthing of the Gateway House of Prayer, literally by a vision. Vic had a vision about night and day prayer and worship ascending before the throne of God on behalf of our city and the Church of St. Louis, and it was birthed in 2003. Five years later, in 2008, there was the rebirthing or the reformatting of the church that was Victory Fellowship merging together with Rivers of Life Church. Those two churches came together and became Southgate Church. And so May is a very important historic month for our little church here, Southgate Church. And, and it seems to me as we ponder those things that a whole lot of it is about worship, prayer, intercession, intimacy with God. And ironically, and I think arranged by the Lord, the first weekend of May, our old friend Kent Henry, an internationally known worship leader, is going to be here at Southgate doing a Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday morning live recording of worship songs and worship music and times of worship. We're going to have three events of just worship. Friday night the 3rd, Saturday night the 4th, Sunday morning the 5th, all worship all the time. It's a way to kind of launch into our anniversary month with worship and prayer and intercession and devotion to the Lord. Super excited about that. And that's a big part of our identity here at Southgate is to be a worshiping company of people. Just been reading through the book of Exodus, you know, and when, and when God gives Moses the big 10 rules, the big 10 laws, the first one is this, don't worship other gods. Instead, Worship me, love and obey me is how he defines worship. And so worship is more encompassing than just singing songs, but it is about bringing our heart to the Lord, fulfilling that first commandment, worship, loving, and obeying God. As we head on into the summer and into camp season, and Mother's Day and Father's Day and Fourth of July and Memorial Day, all those things that can cloud up our schedule and, and, and dominate our schedule, let us remember to bring our hearts before God in worship and adoration as we celebrate all the various anniversaries that God gives us in our personal life and in our church life. Listen, come back to the website often. We're so glad you're here today. We invite you to come to any of our services, any of our ministries, the small group ministries, all the things going on here at Southgate. We're so glad you've been here today. God bless you.